So when you were younger and you would get around big bodies of water, what would your reaction be? Um, it would definitely be one of trepidation. You know, for example, if I was at the beach and everyone else started going further and further, I would feel the fear like, oh my gosh, I can't go with them. Like, that water is way too deep. <laughs> Nikayla Matthews never learned to swim, and she's not the only one. Only the friends I know that swim are the ones that are on the swim team with me. I have friends who don't know how to swim, and I have family members who don't know how to swim. My mom doesn't know how to swim. Now, according to a recent survey by USA Swimming, nearly 60% of African-American kids can't swim. 56% of Hispanic young people can't swim either, and black teens are almost three times more likely to drown than whites. Nikayla is taking free classes with New York City's Learn to Swim program, one of the many organizations trying to bring the numbers down. And also leading the cause, Olympic gold medalist Cullen Jones. You've kind of become the face of, of USA Swimming and getting more minorities involved. Uh, right after the Olympics, uh, USA Swimming approached me with the Make a Splash initiative and um, ever since they told me the uh, drowning rates where African Americans are uh, three times more likely to drown than their counterparts. I mean, I just felt like it was very, very close to me because when I was five years old, I almost drowned. A trip to the water park almost turned tragic when Cullen's inner tube flipped over. That's when his parents decided to put him in swimming classes. Now he's traveling the country, encouraging young people of color to get familiar with the water. So is it really that big of a deal that so many minorities can't swim? Um, it's definitely a big, big deal. Um, you know, I, I'm, an, I'm an optimist. I'd like to see the numbers go down to zero. Once a kid knows how to swim, they know how to swim for the rest of their lives. It's just like riding the bike. There are many reasons experts say minorities are less likely to swim. First, lessons can be expensive, and there aren't many suitable pools in low-income areas, if there are any pools at all. Then, there are generational issues. Some slaves weren't taught to swim for fear of escape, and during the segregation era, blacks and whites weren't allowed to swim together, and these attitudes have been passed down from generation to generation. What made me want to learn how to swim, my mom didn't know how to swim. And if the parents can't swim, the study reveals that the chances of their kids not learning can be as high as 90%. And there's one more reason. Because they're afraid they might drown. Fear, but that no longer holds Nikayla back. So what's been the best thing that you've experienced throughout this? Throughout this, it's definitely been a growth in my confidence. When I think, oh, well, I can dive off a board into eight feet of water not knowing how to swim, I was like, then I can do that, and I can do that too. It's really manifested and made me feel that I could do anything. Oh, yeah. And the last thing. You don't have to wear the small briefs that, that <laughs> the really, really tiny ones. You don't have to wear those. I'm glad that I know that now. Oh, yeah. You know, <laughs> Gary Hamilton for CBSNews.com.